Um, I did want to ask uh, producer Sean, because uh, we did want to talk, because obviously Roquan went to the Ravens, yeah. and we do have a Ravens fan in our Let's Talk Football family. Uh, is Mr. Nate still around? Do we have Mr. Nate? There he is. Oh, gee. Nathan Snell, how are you, sir? What's up, guys? How y'all doing? We're very good. Uh, we wanted to get your opinion a little bit on this Roquan Smith trade to your Ravens. So we're going to give you the floor, my friend. What do you think about this? Um, it's a good trade. Um, I think it helps up the pass rush. I think it gives more depth, particularly linebacker position, because what we've had out there is just not producing. Uh, Patrick Queen is a is a good linebacker. Josh Burns is not. Is, he's just he's really a backup. Uh, Justin Houston, you know, he's going to go out there and give you max effort. But I think this kind of puts everybody at their natural positions with this trade. Yeah. Um, he's not Ray Lewis, um, but he will, he, he has, he will give you numbers. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he's a three down linebacker that break, that, that Baltimore will definitely love. Um, but looking at the trade overall, I think this is one of those, they're putting their trust in the defense to, uh, to take the pressure off the offense. I think so far this year, the offense has been, for the most part, just really can't put the, cannot put the, put the pieces of the puzzle together. And I think that comes from doing too much. I think not trusting, I think it's a little bit of them not trusting Greg Roman and Greg Roman not trusting his players and not just lack of execution. Uh, but, uh, when like now we're getting guys back healthy on the defensive side of the ball, that defense is going to be it's it's going to be scary. Now my concern is I don't want to see we gave picks for a rental because um, mm -hmm. Baltimore has had this history of not paying linebackers. C.J. Mosley, Darius Smith. Um, she was the other one. I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, Matthew Judon. Right. I don't. Un I just don't one. understand. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What What right this there. not paying guys? And on top of that, you know, we're already. It's, it's bad enough that I get questions day in and day out of why are the Ravens not signed Lamar. Are they going to sign him? Like it's you. Like we're going. I don't want us to go into the offseason dealing with right two two problems. So. I, I like this trade, but at the same time, I'm really curious to see what Eric DaCosta does in the offseason to how much do you wanna him. how much do you wanna spend on him? Because one of the issues that we had with Smith is him and Ryan Pulse could not come to an agreement on how much money. Like, you know what I mean? So like and honestly that's one of the reasons too. Like I know that um one of the big issues that he and Pulse just could not see eye to eye. And obviously with a general manager, once you kind of have conflict, it's just not going to be, it's not, it's not going to work. Right. It's just not going to be, it's not going to add to the team atmosphere. So, um, so that uh, it's not. So then kind of how, how much, because also you have to pay Lamar too. Right. So kind of balancing that out, like how, cause I agree you, ca you, you know, with the rental part, but like how much do you think the Ravens should spend on him? You know, if he if he produces the way I think he will for you, oh, he's oh. gone. <laughs> uh oh, was that a bad? We lost Nate. So we <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's Nate, he's have... driving. So be fair, okay? It's just funny. Fair. He's yeah. driving. Don't get he's it. Actually, yes. I, I did have a question. I there, he's he's, he's, he's yeah, I'm sorry. I couldn't. I couldn't hear you guys. It just randomly just went out. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, no, sorry no, my question has to do with money. So. Because you're right with the Lamar situation, how much would you want to spend on Roquan Smith? Because one of the issues we had is he was asking for too much money. And so that was kind of another reason why we kind of unloaded that contract. We didn't want to give us the Amalik. We didn't want to have what happened with Khalil Mack, where we had a monster contract that we sat right. on and had to eat up for years. And so that was another reason for trading him for picks. So how, would, how much would you want to spend on him? to Because I think he will produce for you. But like, how much do, are you willing to spend on him to keep him so he's not a rental, so that you also have money for Lamar? See, that's that's the thing because I've seen three linebackers leave, and it seems to be the asking price of what they want. But I don't know if it's cap because I mean, going in if 
this year were already kind of at kind of struggling with the cap in terms of contracts. And we've paid okay. Ryan Stanley, Marlon Humphrey, and those guys. So there's going to be some restructuring or some deals. We've done that with some, but I can't, I don't have an answer for you on that because the asking price of the, those that left, I don't know what Roquan would ask for. Right. And I would say Roquan is at least worth, I, I, if I had to say he's at least worth four or five years. I can't give you the money, but I, I can guarantee right, yeah, you yeah. Really for at least a, years. Four, a four year, four or five year deal. How old is he? Rokan just came out what three years ago, four yeah. years ago. At he's, most? he's he's still pretty young. He's so still he's pretty, probably still or, mid, mid yeah. to late 20, 26, 27, maybe. Yeah, so he's I, still in that range where got some productive years ahead of him for sure. I yes. I'd pay him five years. Yeah, absolutely. I think Kyle's like I'd pay him right. I'd pay him right exactly five years. So like that's the thing is. Not not to steal anything, but to get a really really good like linebacker, um, it isn't too common nowadays, right? So honestly, if he produces and he shows out, especially when he's a rental, I would a hundred percent pay him what he deserves. Um, yeah, like I I don't know, like the Ravens, I I really like the Ravens actually, to be honest. Um, I like what what <laughs> Lamar is doing, but funny enough, I kind of think that. I think potentially Green Bay and Baltimore in very similar situations, um, even though the record might not show it necessarily. But, you know, what, what happens if they don't pay Lamar? Like, they want to, but the fact that there has been negotiations for this long doesn't really look good on Baltimore. And I know they've been trying, per se, right? But at the same time, like, that's that's just another issue in the house, right? And especially when you want to move forward and you have your franchise guy and a very good Baltimore Ravens team that is still trying to work out the holes in it, right? Um, you, you don't want any turmoil in paradise, right? So, um, yeah, you kind of want to sign those guys and fill in those pieces where you can. Um, and and hopefully Baltimore does do that. But <sighs> I just, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Right? I mean, it's definitely, we, it's definitely we, a we just to try, see, right? Like, right? We try to make predictions yeah, right. and then our teams do what they yeah. want. <laughs> Right, exactly. Right. What do you think, Nate? I don't know. Yeah, what do you think we should? Because again, maybe their their plan is, and who knows? Again, we know the AFC is stacked, but maybe mm-hmm. they're thinking Roquan comes in and helps right away, gets them to the playoffs this year. You know, with Lamar Jackson and and, and a good defense, you never know what could happen in the playoffs. So I mean, I could see them kind of looking at it and going, okay, depending on how we finish this year, how Roquan helps us. You know, like you said, Kyle, do we have the money to give Lamar? And Roquan to stay here, so that you know he doesn't go somewhere else. I mean, it's all, yeah, it's all yeah. like you know we we could speculate all day, but man, this is going to be a fun one to watch because I'm really interested to see what happens with that situation too, and how much they're going to give Lamar. Because you know, if there was ever a man that you should pay on the Ravens, it's probably Lamar Jackson. So <laughs> again, it's like you Baltimore know. is like right now, and correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like Baltimore is like a do-it-yourself mechanic job. And as soon as the glue breaks or something, like the mechanical seal breaks, your whole transmission's done. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm just, and Thank I you for the, the car the analogy. I love it. Right. Leave it to Kyle to give us a car analogy on a football show. Whoa, I love it. Man. Thank you, Kyle. I love, no, I love, I love, I love it. it. No, no, yeah. it's fine, man. Just, we're just giving you crap. It's all good. Uh, listen, Nate, we do want to thank you uh, for coming on. I know you're on the road, uh, so we'll – We'll, we'll let you go, but appreciate you always, my friend. Have a great evening, and thank you for joining us on the old program this Tuesday. Thank you, Nate. Seriously. Appreciate you having me on. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, uh, anytime, my friend. You have a good one. Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.